Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? Today, we're delving into Intel with a more detailed analysis following our initial report released on Wednesday, February 28, 2024. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay on top of updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please remember, this video is for informational purposes only and is not financial advice. Since February 28, 2024, our system has identified Intel as a sell candidate with a score of minus 1.88. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance over this period. We will closely monitor this evaluation to observe its developments in the upcoming days. The stock is currently in a wide and downward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further decline. Over the next three months, the trend suggests a possible minus 4.28% change, with a return ranging from minus 10.54% to 12.25%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the trend indicates a 55.59% change, with a potential return between 44.53% and 100.1%. This implies a price range of $60.69 to $84.02 after a year. Intel's latest update includes the headline, Weaker Technical Forecast for Intel as Stock Downgraded to Sell Candidate. The Intel stock price dropped by minus 1.73% on the last trading day, moving from $42.73 to $41.99 on Wednesday, February 28, 2024. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 1.29%, ranging from a low of $41.91 to a high of $42.45. It has seen a decrease in value over six of the last 10 days, resulting in a decline of minus 2.71% during this period. The trading volume rose by 2 million shares on the last day, despite a decrease in prices. This could indicate a potential risk in the coming days. A total of 26 million shares were exchanged, amounting to approximately $1.11 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, Intel's stock reached a high of $51.28 and a low of $24.97. Currently, the price is 18.11%. $9.29, lower than the 52-week high and 39.4%, $27.30, below the all-time high on January 24, 2020, when it peaked at $69.29. Analyst Ratings On Friday, February 16, 2024, Wedbush issued an underperform rating for Intel with a hold recommendation. On Friday, February 16, 2024, Wells Fargo rated Intel as a buy with a hold recommendation. On Monday, January 29, 2024, Goldman Sachs gave Intel a sell rating with a hold recommendation. On Friday, January 26, 2024, Oppenheimer rated Intel as perform with a hold recommendation. On Wednesday, January 24, 2024, Cantor Fitzgerald gave Intel a neutral rating with an initiate recommendation. Analysts have rated Intel stock as neutral overall. They consider the P-E ratio and price to book as neutral. However, the return on investment receives a buy rating from analysts. Here are the signals identified for Intel. A buy signal is indicated by the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, there are also negative signals that could impact short-term development. Sell signals from both short- and long-term moving averages suggest a negative forecast for Intel stock. Additionally, a general sell signal is present due to the long-term average being above the short-term average. Resistance levels at $43.10 and $44.81 may pose challenges, but a break above these levels could trigger buy signals. A recent sell signal from a pivot top point on December 27, 2023, resulted in a minus 17.28% decline, indicating a potential further fall until a new bottom pivot is established. Increased volume on declining prices serves as an early warning that warrants closer monitoring of the stock. 
Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 43 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 9 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 24 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 22 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 8 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 230 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Intel Intel support lies at $41.92, backed by accumulated volume, presenting a potential buying opportunity as it typically reacts positively when this support level is tested. The stock exhibits controlled movements with high liquidity, resulting in a low risk profile. In the previous day, it had a $0.540 price range, equivalent to 1.29%. Over the past week, daily volatility averaged at 2.42%. Let's start by examining some essential fundamental data before discussing potential trading levels for Intel. The price-to-earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is a key indicator that compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. An exceptionally high P-E ratio may indicate that the stock is overvalued. However, it's common for tech companies or those with significant market potential to have such ratios. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled for April 25, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates predict earnings of $0.130. These figures can heavily influence stock prices, so it's important to monitor them closely. Let's delve into the potential day trading levels for Intel. In an upward trend, Intel faces its first resistance level at $43.65. If you're not a shareholder, consider waiting for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For current stockholders, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the flip side, Intel's initial support level rests at $41.92. Should this support hold, it may present a favorable entry point, with the expectation of a rebound. The overall average rating for Intel from various analysts is currently neutral. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trading activities. On February 15, 2024, Patrick P. Gelsinger executed an insider by transaction, acquiring 35,135 shares of common stock. On the same day, Patrick P. Gelsinger carried out two insider sell transactions, involving 17,420 shares of common stock and 35,135 shares of restricted stock units. Additionally, on February 1, 2024, Justin Hoddard made an insider buy of zero shares of common stock. Lastly, on January 31, 2024, David Zinsner executed an insider by transaction, acquiring 75,659 shares of common stock. After analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be negative, with a ratio of minus 9.158. In total, insiders purchased 409,311 shares and sold 491,845 shares within the last 100 trades. We have assigned a negative evaluation to this stock, and it is important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is Intel stock a good buy? Intel currently shows negative signals and is in a falling trend, indicating potential weakness in the short term. Our evaluation of this stock is negative, as we have downgraded it from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate due to technical weaknesses. Despite this, our analysis suggests that the current price is undervalued based on recent volatility and movements. Looking ahead to trading on Thursday, February 29th, we anticipate Intel to open up $0.127 and start trading at $42.12. It's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of financial loss. 
Before making any investment decisions, it's advisable to consult a financial advisor. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you are responsible for your own investment outcomes. Presenting our current analysis of the stock. Share your opinions in the comments below. What price target do you have in mind? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Wishing you profitable trades and a wonderful day from all of us at Stock Invest.